hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well and had a good night's rest from last night's lunar eclipse circle. This, as you know, is your integration reading. So let's get right into it, starting with the energy that's coming in. So now that we've done all that really deep healing work and manifestation work, what's coming up? leading up to the solar eclipse happening in April. So the first card that had to come out, mm, take time to breathe out. So do take that time to rest and nourish yourself at the body, mind, and soul levels. This would really help the healing to go in a lot deeper and the integration to happen a little bit more efficiently, so to speak. When our bodies are busy doing things, our minds are busy doing things, and we're not giving ourselves that time of silence, stillness, and reflection, that blocks the integration from happening. So it is so, so, so important to reserve some time for yourself to rest and relax and allow any other realizations, wisdom, or insights to come to the surface. So take that time to breathe out. I feel like some of the other cards may also uh, speak to this. And as you know, when cards repeat themselves, <laughs> it's the creator's way of saying we really meant it. Mm. So, uh, okay, so I got the chills when I moved on to the next card. So the next kind of energy that's coming is a new romantic cycle is beginning. So remember in the circle last night, I mentioned that some of you will be welcoming in a new partner, or if you're partnered, the relationship will deepen. So what we did in terms of healing last night, it helped to shift and release some of the blocks that have been preventing you from deepening connections with the loved ones within your life, or perhaps we were able to release blocks that were preventing someone from coming into your life. So because those blocks were removed, there's that opportunity now for that connection to deepen or someone new to come in. For some of you, it just means that this new romantic cycle or new romantic way of looking at your life, you are falling in love with life in a completely different way and your passion is being ignited. So remember that card, I believe passion ignited was one of the cards that have come out in the prep reading, if my memory serves me. And I did mention also in the circle last night that in the solar eclipse circle happening in April, we will work specifically on relationships. So if that calls to you and you want to continue doing that inner healing work, the link to registering for it is in the description below. So this is very exciting that there's this new romantic cycle, this new relationship and the creator is actually saying it's more of this renewed outlook on life, renewed relationship with yourself, because that's really important to feel really wholesome and feeling this healthy level of self-worth within you before you could invite a relationship into your life. So all this is starting. So this is very exciting. So... That card spoke about a new romantic cycle beginning. The last card speaks about the end of a tough cycle that um, is approaching. So this is good. Something is ending now so that new cycle, romantic cycle can begin. I'm hearing that a lot of you will need that um, extra healing work in the April circle to close some of those blocks and old soul contracts that's in a karmic loop. And when I speak, speak about 
things being in a karmic loop. It's life experiences, relationship patterns that happen over and over again in every reincarnation. Because at some level, your soul believes that they need to experience that to become a stronger person or a stronger soul. So we'll release those negative relationship karmic loops so that you could end that tough cycle or end negative patterns in your life and allow that new uh, romantic cycle or new relationships to come in. So this is all really good. Those three cards that have come out that speak about the energy that's coming forward and it all really validates that there's this deep inner healing work that has happened last night. We're going to move on now to the rose cards. And these rose cards, they speak about the energy that you have now leveled up into based on all the healing work that you did. Mm. So the first card that had come out is the storyteller. And the energy that I'm feeling from here, there are actually several messages related to this card. So let's start with the first one here. So this storyteller card talks about you becoming the writer, the storyteller of your own life. So this is all linked to that new romantic cycle beginning. You feel more in control of your life at some level, and you know that you are the co-creator, the writer, the storyteller of your life. So how wonderful that there is that empowerment that is now coming in and working through you. The storyteller here talks about something else. The storyteller also wants to guide you and encourage you to share your story so that other people don't learn it the hard way. So however that may manifest for you. The storyteller, and I'm getting the chills as I'm about to channel this message. So this is for a very select few of you where the storyteller energy, a human, is going to come into your life. This will be a teacher, a mentor, a wise woman. Um, it could be a, a, an elder that may share something with you, their story. And their storytelling of their life somehow adds another beautiful layer to the insight you already have about yourself or your life experiences. So be open to how these storytellers may come into your life. It could be a YouTube video that you come across that's a documentary about how someone overcame their struggles. So be open. It could be that, a video. It could be a book, a biography about someone. It could be you having a deep conversation with a family member who reveals how they overcame their struggles. So a lot of that beautiful energy around the storyteller there. The other energy that you are leveling up into is called the flirt. And I find that this card, the flirt, tends to come out when there are other cards referencing love or let's say that romantic cycle that's beginning in your life. So I'm starting to find a little bit of a relationship that's building between my tarot decks. So what does the flirt want to tell you? The flirt wants to tell you to, again, flirt with life, be in love with life. There's this new reignited passion within you, this new way of seeing and feeling life. So try to flirt with that. How far do you want to take it? Let's say that you are walking down the street and for some reason there's this beautiful smell of cinnamon buns or coffee <laughs> coming from a cafe next to you and maybe that's life's way of in inviting you trying to seduce you to some sort of an experience so they're inviting you to flirt with them in those ways so use your senses all of them when you're outside and try to see how life is trying to invite you or flirt with you so for example, for me today, when I was out on my daily walk, I was completely enamored by these beautiful pale pink cherry blossoms that were blooming. 
in a group together. And that was an, an invitation from Mother Nature to just stop and take a little bit of a detour on my way home. And that's what I did. I took some photos of those grove of trees and just admired the beauty. And that was nature's way of trying to seduce me into taking a break and giving me a bit of a feast for my eyes so I could really absorb that beautiful healing energy from them, from nature, and in particular the cherry blossom spirit. So you might want to keep this in mind, in particular for those working with plant medicines or working with plant spirits. Sometimes they like to invite you and flirt with you in those sort of a ways. So again, a reminder here to use all of your senses and see how life tries to seduce you or flirt with you. And do you want to take up on that invitation? So have fun with this. This is what I'm hearing the creator say. Ah, so the next energy that you're leveling up to is the pioneer. So you're going to start to see things differently. You're going to want to experiment in some ways, and you might have to be that pioneer, pave your own way. Perhaps you're that generational curse breaker in your family. And anyone who does this deep healing work are oftentimes that family curse breaker or that one person who breaks that family pattern. So you're that pioneer there, pioneering in that you are changing the family storyline and the ancestral beliefs. And we did a lot of that ancestral healing last night. So some of you may be really feeling it in your DNA. So the way that your blood is flowing in your body may be feeling just a little different or a lot different, <laughs> depending on what you received uh, last night. So allow that um, integration to really happen and another reminder from the creator here to really take that break that you need. So we're going to move on now to the spirit animal cards and what do they want to tell us? The horse spirit is the first one that popped out. Ah, freedom is yours. So remember we did a healing around that last night, that negative belief that society has placed on us about freedom 55. <laughs> you can now fully live your life after you've worked really hard through your younger years. <laughs> so we release that negative belief. Some more of those abundance blocks um, may also be released in April. So that's what I'm hearing the creator say. So the freedom is yours. Know that all those abundance blocks that, that we worked on last night, they've been released. And that virtue, that download of what freedom looks and feels like is working with you right now. And you're starting to feel it, in particular in partnership with that card that spoke about that new romantic cycle beginning. There's that feeling of freedom in it isn't there when you're starting a new relationship with someone or you have this renewed sense about life there's this feeling of freedom that comes with it this limitless possibilities so with all those freedom coming in and limitless possibilities the cat spirit is saying claim your independence so take up on those opportunities either that come to you or that you want to create for yourself. So when you claim your independence, you also want to create your own opportunities. So what does that look like? And it could be simply reaching out to someone and proposing a project or a job. Perhaps you are already at a job and you want to propose a whole different role that would benefit the company but also would benefit you it will help you to grow and also help your department to grow so in those ways claim that independence allow those divine inspirations that are dropping in your mind to play out in ways that your soul is wanting to work with and manifest into reality the claiming your independence, um, I'm hearing it's also related to 
taking that class or learning something new that you've been wanting to learn for a very long time. And by doing so, you are stepping more into yourself. And in some ways, those courses or classes will help you connect to that independent feeling within you. And that's all that the creator is saying now because they really want you to explore it on your own. Ah, so the final card from the spirit animal is from the white raven spirit. Trust in the magic. So with that manifestation work that we did towards the end of the circle, trust in that universal magic, the cosmic uh, connections that will happen for you and everything will manifest within divine timing for you. And the creator is laughing and saying, remember the download we did about patience that will be put to a really good use. <laughs> So we're going to go now into the other cards that give a little bit more detail in what could be coming up for you, anything you may need to pay attention to. And I'm feeling really good about these cards and I feel energetically some of these things um, may have already been spoken about or they may just repeat or want to remind you of something. So the first card, awareness. They want you to be aware of the spirit signs that are coming your way. And mainly your own awareness of your energy and the universal energy and the planetary alignments that could influence energy in general. Your awareness of all those things are starting to be fine-tuned. So you know when to make a decision, when to sort of hold off and pause for a bit. And I'm hearing that you're going to start to be very aware of the spirit signs that are going to come your way. And remember that we did do that psychic development work where we cleared, healed, activated your chakras. So allow those to integrate and settle within you. And then you'll really start to feel this new level of awareness that's working through you. Next card, rest and rejuvenate. <laughs> another reminder here. Um, I think I said earlier, I feel like um, there might be another reminder about resting. So here you go. Um, rest and rejuvenate. By the way, when I shuffle and pull out these cards before I hit the record button, um, I don't look at them. Um, it's just based on the energy I felt um, while I was starting to channel this uh, guidance. I thought, hmm, feels like there's some repeated messages here. So do pay attention to those repeated guidances. Uh, so this is good. It, um, the next card is Foundation in Achievements. So there's a sense of purpose that's coming into you of who do I want to become and what do I need to do next? And those are the setting of the foundations. You're building up the foundations right there simply by thinking about those thoughts and planning ahead for the future. So how do you want to achieve those things? You may want to go back up again to where we were in the circle that specific place in the spirit world where you could really manifest quite powerfully. So you might need to go up there again on your own if you do feel comfortable doing so. Trying to ask the creator to help you manifest what you need to do so you could achieve those things, the goals that you have set in your life. What do you need to learn? What do you need to do? Who are the people who could help you? Wow, look at all these good cards. I'm getting the chills. The next card is Rejoice in Celebration. So there's some, some form of achievements and success that's coming your way. And it's time to rejoice in celebration. And as soon as I said success, I looked at the next card right after it. And it says victory and success. So this is all very exciting there's foundation and achievements and then there's victory and success and it's time to rejoice in celebration for those things mm. 
And I, the last and final card here, Passion Ignited. So I believe this card popped up um, in the prep reading. So with the Passion Ignited, this card is saying there's another level of your passion being ignited that's coming up. So once you achieve all that success and you're feeling victorious, there's this whole other level now within you, this whole level of confidence and self-worth where you're starting to go, hmm, how can I grow more? How can I be better? How can I push myself a little more so that I am more passionate about life because I want to explore this passion now? Or what other new passions can I find and explore and nurture so that it feeds into other aspects of my life and I feel more connected to myself and more connected to life? Wow, look at all these six cards. These are all really wonderful cards. I like it when cards come out like this because it means that there's a lot of deep inner work that has happened. And I believe there were um, about nine or ten pages last night that I channeled <laughs> that, that was full of healing releases and downloads. So great job, everyone. We're going to go into the goddess cards now. And they're just wanting to give us a little bit more of a guidance here, perhaps encouragement. So let me just get those cards lined up here. And the first card is Astara, and she speaks about fertility. So how wonderful. When the fertility card comes out, or any goddesses that represent fertility come out, it means growth. So this is great. Growth, abundance, beautiful blessings coming your way. Astara's message is it is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. So start planning. <laughs> planning so you could achieve the things that you desire to accomplish. Hathor is wanting to teach you about receptivity. So allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. For some of you, you may need to call help from others to achieve your goals or get to where you need to be. So I'm hearing Hathor say, don't be afraid to ask for help. With the blocks around receiving, we will work on that in the April circle. Oftentimes when there's blocks around receiving, it does create blocks within relationships. The final card, Freya, she's talking about being bold. Well, that's important. <laughs> if you want to set that foundation and achieve what you have set out to achieve and attain victory and success. So Freya's message is unleash your adventurous side, take risks and be daring. So there you go, be daring. If you were to do something without fear, what would that look like? The creator's asking you. <laughs> we're now going to go into the final cards and these are cards from my coffee deck and these three cards speak about the signs that you need to look out for because these are the signs and symbols that the universe is going to send your way to give you a heads up on things that you need to be aware of or what might be coming your way the first is bear and it speaks about strength and being resourceful so the word resourceful is really standing out to me here. And as I'm channeling this message, I'm looking at my clock and it says 111. So a very important message here <laughs> about being resourceful or finding resources or knowing that there are already resources within your reach. You just have to ask for it. And are you able to receive it? Remember what 
the goddess Hathor spoke about receptivity and are you able to receive things. The other word here that the bear spirit is wanting to talk about is strength. So this is where when bear spirit appears or let's say a bear on someone's shirt <laughs> could be a bear tattoo on someone however the image of bear shows up when it shows up it means you need to tap into your inner strength you might need to gather up that strength bravery and courage and actually ask for help or having that courage to share that idea with someone that you trust and from there that may open a door to resources perhaps that friend may know someone that could help you the other sign that you may receive from spirit is the dove and it speaks about peace and serenity i'm hearing the creator say for those of you who tend to be extremely busy if you do see a dove or even a pigeon know that it's spirits way of saying hey slow down make time for yourself remember we said to take that break and rest and rejuvenate do that we're sending you doves pigeons or a bird your way so that you know you need to take that break so whether it's just five minutes enjoying your cup of tea try to sneak those few minutes in and those few minutes here and there could really allow that integration to happen and really allow that time for you to take that deep breath I'm hearing the creator say some of you just need to um, pack a warm beverage and a thermos and go out for a nice walk <laughs> so do that I might as well do that too myself so the last sign is about the lion so if you see a lion it talks about strength and success interesting S strength had come up also for the bear so with words coming out twice it means it's a very important word so where are you needing strength in and where are you lacking strength in perhaps where would you like to build strength what aspects of you so start to think about those things because when you start to think about those things the universe does bring you the answers so when you see a lion think about that because you do need to tap in or strengthen aspects of you such as bravery and courage so you could step forward to that success so these are all very exciting cards and I look forward to seeing what unfolds next for all of you. I wish you all a beautiful, beautiful week, and I will see you soon. Bye.